Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bookmarked Chapter 27. Mm -hmm. um, today, we're basically just doing like a casual Q&A just to chat and chill because it's been a stressful week for all of us. Haley's sick. She's not feeling too well. Hence why she's in a blanket. <laughs> it's like she's sleeping. <laughs> Um, I'm in my house Stark shirt because I'm prepping for Game of Thrones tonight, and Zoe is a dragon, so... I'm Figment know. of Imagination from Epcot. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. I have wings! Amazing. <laughs> it's great. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to do something, like, fun and relaxing today and just hang out with you guys and answer some questions. So if you have any questions that you wanna ask us, just feel free to leave them in the chat below. They don't have to be book related, just about life, about anything you want, really. Um, but starting off, oh, we should introduce ourselves, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're <laughs> just like, oh, start. forget them, you know who they are. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you're on my channel, you know who I am. <laughs> I'm, okay, no, it's not. Uh, it's my, <laughs> I'm Zoe from Red by Zoe. Or Figment. I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm Haley from Haley and Bookland. Or the dead one. <laughs> yeah, I respond to that too. It's fine. So oh. what are you guys currently reading? I will start because I'm not reading anything. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently reading Persepolis 2. <gasps> Yay! Like, a year later, I kind of forgot what happened in the first one, but I'm really liking it so far. Remember I when you bought that book for me? Yeah, and then we're like, we'll read it together, and then you read it, and then it's been a year. Amazing. <laughs> These are antlers, so they're horns, because I'm a dragon. Amazing. Sorry, people were debating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm reading The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I'm so far away from my computer, but it's fine. Oh dear. So Zoe had a suggestion. She wanted us to do like a compliment chain. Is that what you said? Compliment yeah. battle. Compliment or we'll just battle. like compliment each other. This doesn't have to be a battle. A okay. compliment. We chain. just wanted to compliment. I wanted all of us to compliment each other. So you can start because I don't know how you want okay. to Okay. Uh well, Hannah, something that I really love about you is just how wholeheartedly and like unabashedly you love and also hate things like you don't care what anyone else thinks like with bts currently oh like you're God. just like you go full force with the things that you love and i love it it's it's so great um and also Haley, i love how passionate you are and you're such a hard worker you make me want to like work hard every day because you're so inspiring and I love you so much. And thanks for being my friends, guys. I couldn't prepare for this. I didn't prepare for this either. Wait, okay, I'll, I'll, go. Just, I'll just come let you, it's fine. Oh my God. I'll go, I'll go. If you want more. I'll go. Um, okay, Zoe, I love how you're always so positive in any sort of situation. Like no matter how negative Haley and I can get about anything, you always remain so positive despite everything you have to go through and you inspire me all the time and I love you. Um, and Haley, um, I'm always so completely in awe of your drive and your like work ethic and how supportive you are as a friend. Like anytime I need anything, I know that I can just reach out to you. That goes for both of you, of course. But like, I can just reach out to you and you're always there for me and you're always so supportive and I love you. So, wow, I'm gonna cry now. I know, this is this is so so bad. Bad. Why did you do this? <laughs> oh my God. Um, I'm sick, so these are gonna be so bad. Um, Hannah, I admire your bravery and tenacity and the fact that even through really hard times, you still manage to be a great person and you, you're you really self-aware and so confident even in the face of a lot of difficult things. And I think that's absolutely amazing. And I love you. And Zoe, you are just the sweetest, cutest little bean and the absolute opposite of me. And <laughs> it's so true. Oh, and I love that about you because I am so negative all the time. So it reminds me that the world is not always out to get me. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Why did you do this? I know. I don't know. What I'm do like, mean? oh, this will be fun. Because I was just thinking, like, when I was, you know, peeing <laughs> before this, I was like, you know what? No, I no. love my friend while I was <laughs> peeing. Yes, that exact moment. Um, And then I'm like, nah, well, I'll say this for the live show so I can see them cry in person and swim in their tears. And also, I didn't realize I would cry, too. So huh, we can end as well with compliments because I have more to dole out. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, Amazing. Sorry, you mentioned me liking BTS, so now people are asking questions. Oh, I really you started. I, really started I was gonna just not say anything, but <laughs> um, okay. So before we get into any questions, just real quick, in the past week, I have become obsessed with BTS. It has literally con- completely consumed my life. They one me now, just one week, one week, just one week. Literally. She knows everything. I know everything. I've watched literally every video on YouTube. I've listened to like pretty much all of their songs. I cannot be stopped. My bias, Jungkook, don't talk to me anymore. Like I, <laughs> I literally can't read. I can't do anything except listen to BTS. Except cry in your bed thinking about them. I have cried in my bed thinking about BTS songs like every day for the past week. It's not good but it's also the best thing that's ever happened to me so anyway moving on (laughs) moving on we have some questions on twitter but also let us know in the chat any questions you have we really want to focus on the chat this time because i feel like sometimes we neglect you guys and i'm sorry about that we just get so many great ones from twitter but you guys are here live in the flesh and we want to say thank you for being here today Okay. I'll, I'll just compliment you guys. You guys pick a question and I'll compliment these lovely people here. Okay. You know what? Thank you for being here every week. Even if you can't be here every week, now it's a Sunday right now, but thanks for being here. If you, if you usually watch like after the fact, after we're live, thanks for taking time out of your precious day and coming here to see us lounging around crying together. It's real, real sweet. And I appreciate that you think that we have things that are valid to say out loud. And you're like, "Mm, I'll sit here and listen to them say nonsense like Zoe is currently doing. (laughs) Also, I want to see where it's going. (laughs) I'm so tired right now. So I just start a sentence and we go along for the ride. But we will all be at BookCon on June 1st and 2nd. We will also be at BEA if you're also attending in New York City. Come up and say hi to us. Hannah is on a panel, a fancy yeah. panel, at the end of Sunday. It's the BookTube panel. So we are also will be at the meet and greet for that after the panel. So if you want to say hi, say hi. Say hi. I might be wearing this. You might be able to find me. <laughs> My antenna. Do you have a good question? Um, I just found one really quick since we were just talking about this earlier anyway um, from Abby on Twitter. Um, what's your favorite thing to do at Harry Potter World? Harry Potter World? I love just walking around and looking in the shop windows in Diagon Alley. I There's so much detail everywhere. I was just there today. That's why I'm so tired. It rained and I'm so sweaty right now. Um, good thing you're not here in the flesh because I am smelly. But... Oh, I love all the detail. There's also, okay, one thing I don't like about Harry Potter World is that in both Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley, there are bookstore fronts filled with Gilderoy Lockhart books, but you cannot find any Gilderoy Lockhart merch in the parks except for a $600 suit that he wears in it. So I'm sorry, you need that suit and you need to wear it to BookCon. That's your BookCon outfit. Yes. Amazing. You're welcome. I just solved Maybe. all your problems. Maybe. With these, so people can find me. Because I know I get <laughs> lost in crowds because I run away with my tiny little legs. It's but that's something I dislike. Um, I don't like the Forbidden Journey, the Hogwarts ride, because I get motion sickness. So if you ever get motion sickness, that one's a real bad one. And also, according to Haley, you go upside down. But you don't you do. go upside down. You, don't, you do you not go, go upside down. This is right, right side up. This is the ride where you're upside down. You don't go upside down <laughs> you don't oh. go upside down um the um, hippogriff no. ride is also not worth it the Grings got green gods ride is the only one of them that i think is like a good ride but just there is a there, drop. the atmosphere is great and there also fizzing wisbees yes. and yes pumpkin juice what about you Haley? i agree because i don't like rides so I thoroughly enjoyed just walking around and seeing all the things and going into the buildings that were not rides. And I mean, even waiting in line for the rides, there's like 
a lot of detail to look at. Um, I think the light show was my favorite thing, though, actually, now that I think about it. That was mm -hmm. really awesome. So if you can stay for that, then stay for that. It's worth it. My favorite thing is also walking around and just seeing everything. But um, what I love is the music. I just love that they're constantly oh, yeah. on the soundtrack, like all the time. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite thing. I just saw another question um, and then I lost it, but it was, um, if you, are you guys obsessed with any TV shows recently? <laughs> recently? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the only one you watch. The only one you watch. Yeah, and Haley doesn't watch anything else. She watched episode <laughs> one of Game of Thrones with us. I did. Yeah. And now I just spoil myself for the rest of it. And I yeah, she, every, it. every night, like while, like every Sunday while it's airing, she will text me and like live update me as she reads people's tweets. <laughs> and then I text her back after I finish the episode. <laughs> and she's so only seen episode one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Good times. Good um, times. Recent ones, I just finished watching season three of Kim's Convenience. I really like that show. I also really like. Parks and Recreation. I'm rewatching it again. Love it so much. Um, and I I still haven't finished season one of Game of Thrones, but I liked the first nine episodes. Those are really good. Uh, I like a lot of comedies. So Game of Thrones is a little bit of sadness I need in my life. <laughs> and also Hannah and Haley. They're that little bit of sadness. I <laughs> <laughs> Big mood. Big mood. Oh, God. Um... I don't think there's anything new that I've become obsessed with. I just finished watching um, season four of Lucifer on Netflix. Loved that. Um, Isn't that new? It's well, the season's new. The show. Yeah. I've oh, been yeah, yeah. the show for a while, and I love that show. Um, and then Game of Thrones, obviously, I'm still watching. And oh, I quit watching Jane the Virgin. Scandal oh. because I'm so upset. Yeah, I also quit watching Scandal. Funny enough. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> they just renewed Grey's Anatomy for like the 17th season. Oh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yes, I'm currently watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine too. I love that show so much. I'm waiting for it to all come out so I can binge it because I like binging that show. Mm. Oh, I, I like also love The Good Place. Anything that, what's his face, who does Parks and Recreation and The Office, Michael Schur, I think, who's behind all of those shows. I want him to write my life. It's amazing. Um, so someone said up here, uh, what is my favorite Parks and Recreation character? Leslie freaking nope. Heck yes. I want to be her when I grow up. I, I also like Ben her. White. What? Yeah, I think you already are her. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you are. <laughs> um, I'm not as, I want to get to the work ethic that she has. She's like a combination of us, all of us. Love it. If <laughs> not, you guys are so much more cynical. I don't think a single part of me is Leslie Nope. Oh, like, I don't no. think I have a Leslie Nope cell in my body. You're happy like her. I mean, I you not like her. <laughs> uh, oh, the bold type. That's also a really good one. I'm trying to get them to watch it, but uh, they never listen to me. I say things and they're just like, Oh, okay. I just watched Shit's Creek. Oh, I'm yeah, so I watched that, that too. Yeah. I, I watched all of it. I'm complete with that. Yeah, I'm done with that, too. It took me, I think, a week. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It happened very fast. And then I went back to rewatching episodes of Drag Race. And now here I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, Someone said in a comment in one of my videos, they're like, you're like a combination of Leslie Nope, Amy Santiago from Par um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and Hermione Granger. And I was like... You That's literally, literally gave me the best compliment I've ever received in my entire life. Okay, but like, no joke, you actually are Amy. Yeah. Like, a hundred percent. Yeah, you really are. I've never are. met anyone as Amy as you. Uh, yeah. My color coding? Yeah. <laughs> if I had a laminator, ooh, betcha bottom dollar, I'd use it on everything I own. <laughs> oh my god. Um, ooh, Haley, who's your favorite drag queen? Brooklyn Says Zoe Heights right now. now. Yes. My Canadian icon. There's so many that I love, but Brooklyn Heights is my favorite now because Canada, but also it's great. Yeah. I watched the first three or four episodes of this season and Brooklyn Heights and Evie Oddly were my favorites. Yeah. Evie Oddly is also great. Like is what's her face? Ganache still there? <laughs> Ugh. 
Ugh. We can leave now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Hannah, are you team Michael or team Raphael? You have a lot of opinions on this. <laughs> Y'all, if you have been here, you know I am Team Michael, and I've been Team Michael from the beginning. Don't come with me. Come to me with your Team Raphael stuff. Like I don't tolerate I liked it. him in the first season. N- that's fine. I like I'm talking. Up, yeah. If you have seen season four and what you happened? still support Raphael, please don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm upsetting anyone. Like <laughs> you can talk to me. It's fine. But like I'm just so angry. <laughs> This is like what it's being her like. This is being her yeah. friend. This is what it's like. Yeah, I basically say them something. To like, get away! And from she's me. like, "No, you're how dare you? Invalid." <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Team Michael, a hundred percent, will always be Team Michael. The show ended in season three for me. Just saying. Mm, yeah. Oh, I I just watched um Ver- I'm watching Veronica Mars right now and it's so good. I watched season one a couple months ago. It's honestly, I think, the best season of television I've ever seen. If you if you guys can watch it, please watch it. It's coming back to Hulu. They're doing like a fourth season. Kristen Bell's in it and everything. Like, what the heck? Oh, it's a mystery show, but it's just oh, it's so is good. it true that that was like fan funded? The movie was. Oh, okay. They did a movie, okay. and it was entirely... That was in 2014, I think. So amazing. He- Veronica and Logan. Yes. Yes. Okay, her first boyfriend, whatever the actor's name is, he cannot act his way out of, like, a paper bag. It's so bad. And he's supposed to be, like, all brooding and, like, the one everyone wants to go for. And... No. Oh, Logan was there the whole time. And then she did that. And I'm so disappointed. <laughs> um, Malia Ma- Menaz says, do you guys like Friends? I do not like Friends. I've never even seen an episode of Friends. I've seen a few episodes. It wasn't bad, but I just, I was watching, I was watching Parks and Recreation at the time. This was my freshman year of college. And I was watching that for the first time. And then I watched a few episodes of Friends when it first came on Netflix. And I was like, comparing them i also watched all of the office the first semester of college and so it was a lot of good tv and then i saw friends and it was okay but i don't get the hype of it maybe if you grew up watching it that's different i think it's definitely one of those grew up watching it shows yeah i grew up watching it it definitely doesn't age well though (laughs) not at all uh so we have more questions from twitter i believe let me yeah. get to that. I'm being mm-hmm. zero percent oh, helpful. Do you want to do this? Good. Tell us. This is from Twitter, from reader and med student. Um, tell us three things we don't know about you. <laughs> what do you oh, mean know God. about me? I think you I know, know right? I know, like everything. Oh, oh, one weird thing. You see my hands? You see how my well, you guys know this, but like my middle finger curves like this. Isn't that weird? But my entire like maternal line of my family we all have weird fingers like this so like when i'm trying to flick people off it doesn't work and that's why i'm I'm a nice person moral of the story (laughs) wow (laughs) i can't flick people off so i'm like ah goodness i guess my middle finger is too straight (laughs) that's why you're so nice you're so (laughs) mean to be that's one thing that's the only thing i think uh hannah and i had braces yeah Haley has Invisalign right now. Currently. <laughs> Woo! Wow, we have messed up teeth. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I know uh, I chose this, but I literally don't know a single thing. Yeah, really? why did you choose that? I, I don't know. It was just the first one I saw, and I was like, oh, that's a good question. I mean, oh. it's an interesting question. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so many people in the comments have weird fingers like me. Oh, I didn't know this was a thing. Thank you, people. We all have weird fingers. Maybe you're all related. Not like, <gasps> maybe you're from like, no, we're all cousins. No, yeah. we're all first cousins. <laughs> Everyone was- in the comments right now, we're all first cousins. Yeah, oh my God. Oh, no, we have a lot today. She's the most. <laughs> Rained out I'd of say, as I'm sitting world. here in a blanket. It's fine. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this one from. Get club. Speaking yeah. of straight and curved fingers, are you guys all straight? I'm not straight, <laughs> but I think, but both of them are. So, <laughs> moving on. 
what it um okay Haley. for this is from caitlin on twitter Haley, do you think one day you might have an alice in wonderland retelling i would like to i just would have to figure it out first and like what i would want to retell and like why and what hasn't been done before but yeah i would definitely like to nice uh (laughs) this one from mary among books who's the best at makeup hair and painting nails i think i'm the best at painting nails because i'm the only one of us who like regularly paints their nails um makeup is best at hair yeah and she can braid hannah hannah i think you're the best at makeup oh thank you Yay, we all have skills. <laughs> Wait, I can't really do my hair at all. So does this mean at BookCon, Haley's going to do everyone's hair, I'll do everyone's makeup, and you'll do all of our nails? I would. Yeah, I used to do nail art on my nails. That's so Beautiful. cool. Well, I'm getting my nails done, so it's not going to happen, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, this one from... Ooh, for Hannah and Zoe from Slytherin Reads on Twitter. If you were to design the covers for one or both of Haley's books, what would it slash they look like? Okay, we should do one for the contemporary book. No, I no think more about that one. Close up of the love interest face. That's all <laughs> Haley it. cares about. <laughs> I love it. No, I think it would be the important thing that is in the book yeah yeah i think it would be that like in a hand like hands yeah. that are like holding hands but it's like that's in between them and then you see like a sill of like famous european landmarks yeah and on I the like back that. would be a zoom in of the main character's butt yeah <laughs> it would be like it has, his name like on, it has his name like on the yeah, yeah. straight across his butt like, like you're quoted that's your the person who like quotes your book Oh my God. It's from yeah. that guy. But it would be like, you know, the cover for Amy and Rogers' Epic Tour? It would be kind of like that with like the hands holding and then you see like. Yeah. yeah. I love it. So in my head, it's completely illustrated. And, I love it. Because I don't like people on the cover. Um, yeah. It's completely totally. illustrated and it's the important thing. Yeah. Um, but like, I don't, I, I'm not an artist, so like I can't draw this for you, but like I'd have to draw it for you to explain it properly. It's just like artistic and cute and it has pink and blue on the cover. Oh, Maybe yeah. blue, but it has pink on the cover. Um, and it's either that or it's a map. Like the whole oh. cover is a map, but like kind of like an abstract map map um, with the back has like the like, landmarks of the places they go to or like the map that they draw of like the places they go to Mm. um with like the important thing also discreetly put on the cover that makes sense okay i'm trying not to spoil it i love it it. oh no it's fine (laughs) i like it we should combine like the the, the illustrated with that and the color yeah so um sorry we are now graphic designers (laughs) so excited (laughs) Oh my gosh, this one oh. from Beautiful Books. Who is your favorite Shadow and Bone character? <laughs> um, definitely um, none of them. <laughs> no, it would be Nikolai because he's the only one who has any. It's by far Nikolai. He's yeah. An interesting character who like oh, is a fully so fleshed out character. Sorry, I just thought of something no one knows about me. Well, you guys know because I like vaguely talk about yeah. it today. Um, I'm super into watching soccer or like football. Uh, that's an interesting football. one. That's the, mo- that's the most interesting sport. Well, it's weird because I used to hate, like just absolutely hate watching any sport. Like it was, except I loved watching hockey. Um, but then like recently my dad loves watching um, soccer. He watches the Premier League. So I was watching like the Premier League matches today and my team lost and I'm sad. But anyway. I'm so sorry. Tennis and and soccer are the most interesting ones to watch, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Except tennis is hard to watch because you're like, but you know, it's still fun. Ow, it disgusts me in my eye. Trying to follow the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. What are you like? <laughs> I just disgusted my eye while I did that, so that just shows me I should stop being myself. Um, there was a question from average, yeah, average Joe reads uh, best concert you've ever attended. I know Haley's. <laughs> What's mine? Cher. Cher. Oh, <laughs> I've been to so many concerts. Yeah, Cher was great. 
Wait, you go to a lot of, I've been to like two, con- I've been to two concerts in my whole life. Not kind of like chorus concerts I went to. I've seen Cher, Beyonce. You Wonder saw Earth. Beyonce? Yeah, girl. You didn't tell me? I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. <sighs> Does it matter? It still happened it to you great. and now we know you. So from. It was great. Being in your presence, we've been in. Wait, which concert. which tour was it? Like which album? Uh, I think it was in like oh, oh. It wasn't if lemonade, I, was I think it? it was no, no. Oh, okay. It was before that. Okay. Um, yeah, I've been to One Direction twice. What? So. You didn't know that? No. Haley, I feel like I know like the most personal, intimate details about your life, I but I don't know anything else. I've been, oh my gosh, I don't I forgot her name. <laughs> so obviously not very important. But then I went to 21 Pilots and I went to yeah, it was awkward. I'm going to Backstreet Boys soon. <gasps> what? Amazing. Yeah, this August. Are coming to Orlando. I should go and see them. I go. was like five seconds away from buying a ticket to go to New Jersey just to go to BTS, but it wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> Um, the best one I've been to is Panic at the Disco. Oh, Colby Calais. That's the other one I went to. Uh, <laughs> I went to Colby Calais and 21 Pilots. And that's it. <laughs> Amazing. And both of them were because other people I was friends with. Or one of, like, I went to the 21 Pilots one because I had a crush on the guy who wanted to go. Okay. And I'm like, he's like, you want to go? And I'm like, okay. And then he didn't talk to me the whole night. So. Rude. He obviously okay. didn't have a crush on me. I think it was like a like a pity invite. I'm like, I'll go. And I listened to all their music beforehand just because of that. And it was awkward. But um, now yeah. I can't listen to their music without thinking of that awkward night. So sorry That's about okay. all the 21 Pilots fans in the comments. Okay. I also went to Justin Bieber, actually. Good time. You have been to, like all the good concerts. Yeah, because they come to Detroit. They come to Orlando. I don't go to those. Oh, I just go. I don't know. I went to that for my birthday though. Justin Bieber, great time. Mm. Classic. You guys could come. Should come see me so we can go to Joe Bros together. Oh. Who's they sold out though, show? didn't they? Oh. I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> I think they sold out. I really um, wanted to go. James Charles is coming to Orlando. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Haley's left the chat. Oh. <laughs> what? You fall off your chair. I literally did. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> I'm literally not getting up anymore. I didn't think it through. See you later. <laughs> I literally just <laughs> literally <laughs> buy <buying> it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm so glad this was a casual Q and A because I cannot. Yes, you're on the ground now. It doesn't even matter. We're just oh my a God. mess. Should we even save this live show? Well, I don't think people will want to watch this later. <laughs> I think it'll hold up. To it's gonna video. age well. Give sure. us more questions, please, so we can move on from this. Um, I just saw one, and then Haley falling out of her chair. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Someone, someone asked this um, um, question. I lost it, but it was about if I like the new Brendan Neary and Taylor Swift song. We can all answer this. The answer is no. I despise it. <laughs> Spelling is fun. Stop. I love. It. I love him. I love his voice with all of my heart, and every time he sings on it, like it just sounds beautiful and angelic. But like, I hate that song. <laughs> His talents were wasted. And so they were hers, honestly. They were. I'm not even like a fan of her, but yeah, they were wasted on that song. Just her comeback, and then she did that. Like the aesthetic of the video was nice, but eh, it was just like weird CGI. I meant like the colors. I guess. I like her was... aesthetic for like this turnaround. I like it more than the last one where she was trying to be all goth. Yeah, I guess. I want to go back to like Speak Now era. I just want to listen to Speak Now. Can they do, like, a better song together? I don't know. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, some, Miss KK12 asks, can any of you wiggle or do the wave with your eyebrows? Can you guys wiggle your eyebrows? No, not well. Is this kind of working? I'm so confused. 
Is this working? Is this what you want, Miss KK? Oh my god, I hate every second of this. Are you okay? okay? I literally am going to fall in You guys talk and I'll be here. Okay. It kind of looks like you have two carrots sticking out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right oh my gosh, I'm Anne Green Gables. I'm literally carrot head. Amazing. <laughs> um... Uh, Please continue, so I, I am not talking. No, you need to lead this ship. <laughs> <laughs> you lead it straight into the, the sea. She's sick, and I'm just a disaster, so. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, just okay. talking about what disasters we are. Yeah. Um, so. Rachel Marie asks, hardest thing about being a booktuber? Hmm. Um not going insane and i'm obviously have failed at this endeavor <laughs> i think it's mostly just like time maintenance because mm-hmm. i'm really bad at that and so this just highlights it when you see that i don't post for years yeah i think that for sure time because like out of all youtube i feel like we have one of the big like biggest time commitments required to do what we do so we have to read all books exactly mm-hmm. yeah so definitely the time that's the biggest thing and people have school and yeah. full-time work and juggling that like even when people have full-time work or jobs and they ha- are just reading for fun they usually don't like that's how they spend their free time so imagine having to like sit down film videos and then edit it and that's even more time so something has to go you either have to sacrifice sleep or sacrifice reading or it's all about figuring out what works and also if you have like poor mental health or you're really busy Mm -hmm. or you have to take care of family or something like that difficult (laughs) yeah i think it um i think it depends (gasps) based on bless bless you. you sorry (laughs) you're fine um i think it depends based on like what place you're at in booktube like Mm -hmm. in your like booktube journey you know like when i first started i would say like the most challenging thing was probably um i don't know like figuring out how to edit (laughs) figuring out like everything new like trying to be a part of a community um that was definitely the most challenging and then eventually it kind of like especially like when you first start out like you are not at a loss for any content like you're never running out of ideas because you've never done anything so like you have all of these options um and then sometimes you can get to a place where you're like i have no idea what to film like i feel like i've done everything i'm just gonna do like another um reading vlog or another wrap up or another tbr or something and then you start to feel like you're just being repetitive and then you can get to another place where you're just like i don't like I, this is kind of like where I'm at now where I'm just like, I don't know what to share. I don't know like how much to share. I don't like, I feel pressure to share. upload. I, yeah. <laughs> I just share everything, um, which I basically do. But um, I just feel like pressure to be, to be like the person that I have created for myself on YouTube. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. um, not that it's like a persona, but it's just that, um, like, if you even like look a little tired, people, yeah, will be like, are you okay? Exactly. I just did. I messed up on my makeup today. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I yeah. didn't sleep much last night. So yeah, even though a lot of it is from like BookTube is a very supportive community, mm-hmm. but I feel like especially because we're pretty public with what we're going through and stuff, and you guys check in with us a lot, which is nice. But also sometimes when we are doing well and people ask if we're doing all right, it's like, oh my gosh, am I not actually doing all right? And it's just like mm-hmm. a crisis, but it is, it really does mean a lot. So like, I'm not saying don't check up us on us or like, we don't appreciate it. But I think a lot of it, I think that's definitely like the person, cause like, I'm usually like a pretty positive person, but that's usually like I will film when I'm feeling positive exactly and so like when I'm not yeah when I'm not like I haven't been recently which I've I don't think I've gone this long without uploading ever and um I like I tried to film a vlog a couple days ago and I just like couldn't do it because I was like I don't really want to do anything except like sit here and like cry so like I don't really know 
how to turn that into a video. And I'm also in a place where I'm like, I can't just like fake it. Um, so that's kind of like where I'm at now where it feels challenging. It's like, how much do I share? How much of like, how much are people even going to care if it's not like book related content? Like it's yeah. part of it is expanding. And then part of it is just, um, I don't know, how do I still be me if I don't feel like being happy me, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at. People would appreciate that because you're being real with it, but also you feel comfortable with that. Yeah. So well, that's the thing. Like I was sitting here like filming this video, like just trying to talk about like in, in vague terms without too many specifics. Cause like, you know, it's personal. Um, like just explain like what, what's been going on, like how I've been feeling and stuff. And then I'm just like, I, I don't even know like how to talk about this or how I should share this or if I even should, you know? Um, and so I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anyway. <laughs> I get that. I feel like it's very much in our head. So it's, it's hard to vocalize. Uh, but all of us have gone through it and I'm sure so many other booktubers have gone through it too. But I just, I feel like a lot of the time I will make excuses like saying like oh like the people who watch my videos won't want this but really it's like I'm not comfortable doing it so I'm like oh my gosh they won't want to see me like like be upset or like not be like a positive person when really I'm like I'm not comfortable not being positive in a video so I mm -hmm. think that they like I, I feel like every time I have shown like me being anxious or depressed or something people have really enjoyed it or they appreciated it yeah so I'm like dang it <laughs> that's not the excuse I was going for um but I definitely it's all it's just it's a day-to-day -day thing so you know you know what's difficult about being uh, being a booktuber it's just difficult being a human <laughs> there you go it's just difficult being public yeah yeah that's the hard part. Especially with mental illness when it's yeah. so in your head. For sure. How's everyone doing right now? In the comments? In in here? Hello? How are you doing? Yeah. Better than me. <laughs> I, I just want to watch Game of Thrones, y'all. <laughs> Amazing. I just want to know what's going to happen. I have been literally living my life week to week just waiting for Game of Thrones to happen. I don't do anything else at the moment. And um, you listen just to BTS. now I do for the past week. And like, not going to lie, it's like truly healed me. I've like real, 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 I can't speak, re realized how much I love music. Um, and it's been really helpful. That's Everyone is so not happy in the chat. It's no. really sad. I'm sorry. Well, I remember. Time. So a lot of people are very stressed because of school. Yes. So yeah. You can do this. I believe yes. you. All of us, we got through high school. We did it. We're very intelligent ladies. And so are you because you're here. So osmosis. We got through it. You can get through it. Is this a good pep talk? No, it's not. Okay. So I'm going to okay. start again. Um, Hello. Just everybody. Breathe. breathe. I am sure you have paid attention in class. I'm sure that you have everything like figured out. I'm sure it's so overwhelming right now, but just take a moment to breathe. Make some lists. That's where I always start. Make lists of everything that you need to study. I made a lot of study guides in college and high school. Um, and I did a lot of color coding. That might help too. But the moral of the story is you can do this. You've gotten through this far in school. And it's just another test. It's not going to decide your future. But do try your hardest. Please. That was another bad, bad one. So I'm just going to stop with my pep talks right now. Uh, um but no all, like in all honesty everyone who's like feeling bad right now I know sometimes like it's not really comforting to know that you're not alone because it's like wow everyone else is sad too mm -hmm. so the whole world's sad great um but like you're also not alone in just being supported either because like yeah I'm sad <laughs> everyone's kind of sad right now at least to us three here um but you're you're not alone in like having support for that like it it can feel really isolating but you're not you're not alone so just know that 
And we're going to get through all of this shit. So I'm going to say my- now is not your forever. I was yeah. about to- Haley, I was literally about to say that. <laughs> I stole your thunder. I was about, okay, I need to say it in every live show from now on because that's my favorite quote. Well, it's so true. It's so true. And it's something that I need to like, I yeah. really believe is that I always, or like so many of us, we get so overwhelmed that we think like there's no way out of this, but we've made it through some really hard times and I'm sure so have you. So breathe, drink some water. We can do this. We can get through whatever hard thing we're struggling with right now. Sana Z said we're all sad boys and I feel that in my soul. I'm a sad dragon. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. I am a sad boy with an eye. No, I'm Yeah, I'm that was with an eye. I'm a sad goyle. Thank you. I need to go to bed. <laughs> uh, okay, so this one from Melody Lake 18 on Twitter. Any advice for first time book con attendees? I think I might do. Um, we might do another live show that's all about book conventions. I think mm-hmm. that might be the one we do next week. In if that's something that you're interested in, I might combine like uh, book conventions and like author signings. So we'll do a lot more advice on that front, but just like a quick tip, um, breathe (laughs) because it is, there's so many people there. And as somebody with social anxiety, that's a lot. There's a lot of people and, um, bring a charger. I think that's, um, bring some chapstick, bring head wear comfortable shoes. That's my biggest tip. Yes. And oh if you God. want to wear nice shoes, yeah. <laughs> if you want to wear nice shoes and like wear heels, bring a bag that's big enough to like carry another pair of shoes. So that's what I always do. Like I bring a pair of like heels to take my pictures in and then I bring a pair of sandals that I can walk around in and I'm comfortable in. So I'll just switch my shoes so that my feet won't hurt because you're going to walk a lot and you're going to stand mm-hmm. a lot and you'll be really tired. It's a lot of standing. <laughs> it's so yeah. much standing. The walking is fine. It's the standing that'll kill you. Yeah, so signing the signing lines because there are booths for every single publisher and they usually do arc drops and sometimes there are uh, authors there signing the arcs while you're getting them so it's a lot of standing and if I think you get pamphlets do you can you get them before the sh- like the show you can check it online okay yeah so, so check online if you or the app arcs yeah, yeah yeah if there are any arcs that you're interested in and get their like at least an hour early if it's a popular one because there are so many people there. So yeah. real I made I made a Google calendar for the three of us that has like all the important things going on. And I'm going to add like if there are any like important arc or anything too. But manage your time. It's something that I need to work on. <laughs> so I think that's the big part. Also bring some water. And bring mm-hmm. snacks to like a granola bar or something. Oh yeah, bring snacks. There are some places to get food in there, but they don't have, it's not that much of a variety of food. And they have also- a pretty big variety. It's just, it gets really busy. Oh, That's yeah. the problem. There are like four restaurants in there. It's like a Starbucks and like another thing. So, but you there's, it's, if you need snacks, bring snacks with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, do we speak any other languages? I do. Yes. I can speak Farsi and English and like two sentences of French at this point. <laughs> That's me with Spanish. I can speak like two sentences and I, I know took four like, years of it and I forgot everything. I three or four years. I took I did IB Spanish and I got like a good grade on it too. Uh but I forgot all of it. And i I know the alphabet and sign language. And like 10 phrases in sign language, but same, uh, but <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> uh, people would like you to speak some Farsi. No, please don't ask me okay. to do that. Okay, okay. I just I hate, I hate when people ask me to do that. <laughs> okay, and I'm not speaking Spanish either, so <laughs> uh, okay, so more questions. Uh, Oh, do you think this is funny? Um, do you think you'd be different, be different people or have different personalities if you had a different name? No. 
I was born this way. <laughs> I don't There's know. There's no way. I feel like if I had, I feel like Hannah's a pretty soft name. Does that make sense? Yeah, for a soft girl. Yeah, but like, because I'm not just like fully a soft girl. <laughs> Um, I feel like if I had more of like a, I feel like Haley is a, I feel like if you not a soft Brittany, girl name. Brittany, that's a. Yeah, like if I were named, my parents would never name me Brittany. I'm just like, saying, it sounds like the opposite of Hannah. <laughs> yeah, if I had been named like Brittany or something, I feel like I would embrace my like bitchiness a little bit more. Uh, yeah, you have um, a fancy side. Yeah, and if I were named something like softer than Hannah, I feel like I would embrace my softer side a little more. I feel like my name has a big effect on my personality. Softer than Hannah. Hannah like it has no consonants really, so she's like Hannah. <laughs> Hannah. I don't know what's a name that's softer than Hannah. I feel like Lila's a really soft yeah. name. Yeah. You're like ha ha ha. I'm Hannah. I look down on you. <laughs> that's Hannah all the time. <laughs> Excuse me. Other side. It's so oh mean. I only look down on Zoe. Yeah. Well, because I'm sure that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even what oh, I meant, I but okay. <laughs> I think Claire is a soft, a soft name. All the declares mm -hmm. I've known have been, well, no, one of them was not soft. But the other one was really nice and soft. So, yes, I'm going to assume that you are a soft one. You can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Someone said they couldn't hear me. I just need oh. to. <laughs> According to Aphrodite Reads, I am body Zoe. <gasps> oh. Okay, when I was... When I was younger, no one had the name Zoe, and everybody said my name wrong for some reason. It was so strange. And also, what? I'm sorry. My, my my mom just called me. And for whatever reason, my um my YouTube like started playing and BTS just started playing oh really God. loud in my ears. Oh my gosh. And I was I had a mini heart attack. Okay, we're fine. Um oh my gosh. Anyway. Uh, my name was like unique back in the day. Now it's not at all, but it was more like no one knew it. So and also my last name. Is hurt, so I was teased a lot growing up. You're hurt. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Um, so I don't know. I feel like I would be the same person. I just wouldn't be bullied as much. Maybe I would be meaner. I feel like bullying really makes you a good person. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't don't get bullied, guys. Don't get bullied. <laughs> Cannot be a new campaign slogan. Just oh don't get God. bullied. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot. So many people called me Zoe. It was so confusing. Ugh. And then people would print, people would spell my name Z O W I E. I've literally never even seen that before. I know. I've never seen that. But so many people either called me Zoe or they spelled my name really weirdly. So strange. But uh, I, I think I'd be the same person no matter what. Um, okay. <laughs> Haley, how are your Sims? Oh, they're probably dying. I haven't played in, like, months. Uh, my Stardew Valley character is doing great. Amazing. No one asked, but... <laughs> um, do you want to take just, like, one more question and then uh, um, mention our booktuber of the week? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, I like this question, because <laughs> I always want to know this about people. Oh um, Elisa asks, how tall are all of you? I am 5'2", and I think that's stretching it. Yeah, she's... she's <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm 5'6", but I don't know. I haven't measured in a really long time. You're like 6 time. feet tall. You're very tall. I'm definitely not. <laughs> Compared, I feel like you're very tall. You just have the well, presence. You have the presence of a 6 foot tall person. Amazing. You do have the presence of a 6 foot tall person. I appreciate that. I will take and that. Zoe, you have the presence of a tall person, too. You do. When they meet me in person, they're like, you're so short. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> F off! <laughs> but every single person, they're like, I didn't think I'd be looking down at you. There we well, go. So you have the presence of a tall person. Thanks! I want to be tall. <laughs> um, I am five, four, and a quarter. Oh, I've you're been, running that quarter, do you? No, it's just because I've been measured. So I always say I'm 5'4", and then they're like, no, you're 5'4 and a quarter. And I was like, wow. okay. You're special. Five, four, I'm 5'4". You're nine and three quarters. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Our booktuber of the week. 
Who is it? It's Sandy from Sandy Reads a lot. Oh yeah. Yay. We love her. I've met her twice now at BookCon um, and she's always so sweet. She makes great content. She recently graduated. She's yeah. a wonderful person. I highly suggest checking out her channel. She's linked in the description box down below. Um, she's been on BookTube for years and she deserves so much more love than hype. So hmm. go check her channel out, subscribe to her. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up everything we wanted to talk about today which was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <Ooh>. very sorry. <laughs> We're all just tired. Haley's also sick and we just wanted to like have a chill time. It's been a day, my friends. Yes. And I'm just like not emotionally prepared for Game of Thrones tonight. So do you want to sign off with the, the Jenna marbles? Dink, 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 dink. Do you know that? No. Oh, this is awkward. What are you saying? <laughs> Never mind, let's leave. <laughs> Toodaloo, my friends. Love you. Oh my God. Um, okay, but yeah, uh, just a reminder that our book club book of the month for this month, May, is Clockwork Angel. So we're reading it and we are going to be doing our live show June. What did we decide? The like 8th? second weekend of June, right? I think it's June 8th. I think yeah. it's June no, 8th. No, 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 yeah. June 9th. June 9th. June 9th. Okay. <laughs> Our live show will be June 9th on my channel, so it'll be back here. If you want to read the book, again, you do not have to read any of the other Shadowhunters books in order to read the book. Um, oh, my God. Why? What? Continue. Edward. She was pointing at Edward. Anyway. Oh, not again. <laughs> I know. Um, but, yeah, so if you'd like to read the book and join us for that live show, we'd love to chat with you. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for being here. Thanks for – at what? Friday last next week it'll be oh, yes Friday. we'll be we'll be back on Friday back at Friday mm -hmm. next week um and then the week after that is book con right so yeah yes. yeah yeah we're going to be talking about book con like author events yeah. and book signings and all of that next week yeah if you want to join us it'll be on my channel on Friday 6 p.m eastern standard time so we'll be back to our regular time next week yeah. all right but that pretty much wraps it up so Thank you all for being here. We love you a lot and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.